Hello. Glad you're here again for Showreel 88. On the other hand, if you're not here and are watching another channel instead, then please turn over straight away, because this is a programme unlike all others. It's the BBC and Radio Times Awards for the best of the country's film and video makers. It's the one show in the whole year when the amateurs get a chance to make the professionals look like Mickey Mouse and you get a chance to see what telly would look like if the amateurs took over. But before our army of part-time Ken Loach's storm television centre and stage a coup on the sixth floor, let's look at the story of another amateur, a military man who's really obsessed with battle. In this case, it's nostalgia for the Second World War. Unite or perish. All are proud of being under the fire of the enemy. The sturdy workmen who swing the hammers or load the ships, the skillful craftsmen, the members of every kind of ARP service are proud to feel that they stand in the line together with our fighting men when one of the greatest causes is being fought out and fought out it will be to the end. You going to iron all night? Probably. Can't we go somewhere? Do something? I don't expect to be around much during the evenings from now on. Why not? Well, my time's going to be taken up. You're always on at me to organise myself, do something useful. Yes. So I've decided to help the country. What country? Well, Great Britain. In the fight to keep it free. I've never much liked the idea of killing people. I'm a conscientious objector at heart. And I've been thinking hard about what I can do. So I've decided to become an air raid warden. What are you talking about? Well, you're right. I've been missing about too long. During the war, the whole country was drawn together. People had a purpose. Things were vivid. Life was intense. I want to be part of it. The war's over, Tom. I'm going to be on duty for most of the evenings. That's where most of the bombers come over. I have to coordinate the rescue services onto the injured. It's been over for 40 years. I'm actually quite looking forward to it. Planes, you see. Where's you out listening? It's Tom. He's in one of his wartime moods again. He's wearing suits, carrying a gas mask and a helmet. Oh dear. What is it this time? Air raid warden. Oh! <laughs> he goes out every night to look for bombers. Says it gives him a sense of purpose. And he's not painting? No. I thought it was somebody else. I could have understood that. So I followed him one night. He sits on his own with binoculars, staring at the sky. What, every night? For over a week. Oh. I'm giving up. It's when you're in a place like this, you know why you're fighting. I'd be happy to die here beneath the sky, in England's garden. Who'd pick you up? What? When you were dead, who'd pick you up? Well, God, I don't know. You're so practical. I'm not practical. You never think of the consequences. Would anybody like the rest of this wine? Or oh, don't you feel anything for England, for the grass, the trees? Where's your sense of imagination? It's dried up like you. Oh, stop it, Tom. Well, what have I done? I hope you do die here. I hope the whole German Air Force swoops down and blasts you off the face of the earth. Well, thank you very much. Maybe then you'd realise what a shit you are to be with. Oh, yes? And how will I be able to? Will they let me keep my brain? I don't know why she wanted to marry a nutter like him, do you? Something to do with his sexy pyjamas, perhaps? <laughs> 